I recently made McCall's 8154, a super cute jumpsuit pattern, and I wanted to show you how it turned out in case you wanted to make one too. If you're not already, make sure to subscribe so you never miss out when I post about a new garment that I've made. I have made so many jumpsuit patterns lately, and I'm excited to share the good, bad, and ugly of this one. Like I said, the pattern is McCall's 8154. The website describes this pattern as a seamed romper and jumpsuit with pocket options, drawstring detail, belt, and hem variations. In addition to those details, it also has dolman sleeves, a front button placket, and front and back yokes. There is no waist seam, and the front and back have four pieces each, so it was really interesting to put together. The fabric is a cotton lyocell blended denim from Joanne. I really, really enjoyed working with this fabric. Because it's mostly cotton, 62% to be exact, it was really easy to cut, sew, and press. The addition of the rayon just makes it like softer and give it a little bit of drape, which was perfect for this pattern since I needed the fabric to gather nicely along the front yoke as well as come together well with the belt. As of the filming of this video, this fabric is still available online and my local store even has a few yards left. So be sure to check the description box for a link to grab what's left. If you've watched my videos before, you will be surprised to hear that I did not make any alterations to this pattern. I think that I've been overthinking fitting lately, especially when it comes to pants patterns. So I just wanted to make something as it was drafted and see how it went. What's something that you overthink when it comes to sewing? It's so easy, in my opinion, to get wrapped up in all the little things, which can also rob you from some of the joy of sewing too. Leave a comment to let me know what you've been overthinking when it comes to your sewing lately. Anyway, there are a lot of things I love about this pattern. One of them is the shaping throughout the waist. I was surprised to see how much I liked this jumpsuit, even without the belt. It's actually still really flattering, even though there is no defined waist. That is 100% due to the design, and I love that. I also love the pant leg line and length. Again, I did not make any alterations to this whatsoever and was impressed that these design details were so good right out of the envelope. Of course, there are some things that I don't love as much because I wouldn't be me if I didn't nitpick a little, right? Starting at the top, the dolman sleeve looks super cute from the front, and it certainly is comfortable, but the underarm opening is so wide, you can see straight inside the garment when I lift my arm. This is an easy fix, but I wanted to point it out in case you were getting ready to cut your fabric. Another thing that's a little off is the drawstring detail. Again, it's really cute, and I feel like a little necessary to kind of balance out the rest of the volume of the pattern, but I don't really love the actual drawstring. I bought some cording for it and I feel like it gets a little lost, like it feels dinky. I don't know if it would be better if I used self fabric or if I should just gather that seam and not add a drawstring at all. Finally, and probably the biggest problem with this pattern is the instructions for the bottom of the button placket. I could not, for the life of me, figure out how to get it sewn like the instructions suggested. It doesn't seem that other people who have made this pattern had the same problem as me, so it could just be user error, like maybe I was having an off day, but I could not figure it out. So I ended up just having a make it work moment, which, I mean, it definitely works, but it's also definitely not how it's supposed to be. All in all, I do really like this pattern and I want to make another version maybe out of corduroy for the fall. I will just have to figure out that dang button blanket. If you want to learn some of my favorite tips for sewing garments like this one, download my ultimate garment sewing guide of guides. It includes seven different sewing guides all in one and it's totally free. There's a link in the description box where you can download it. And if you like seeing the things that I've sewn, be sure to check out this playlist that I linked on the right hand side of the screen. It has dozens of videos just like this one so you can be inspired for whatever your next project might be. But that's going to do it for me today, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all very soon.